Hello guys, this is Jake again. So news came out today that Worker will be releasing their new mini flywheel blaster, the Nightingale. So I'm gonna take you guys through some pictures that have been released and after that I will show you the video of the firing tests of the standard version and the pro version. Uh, the first thing that catches your eyes might be that the uh, Nightingale looks very similar to the S200 and the Phoenix 2.0 uh, because it is actually just done by the same designer. And this blaster is a mini flywheel blaster that uses new mini tandem mags, angled ones, not the straight ones. Uh, shipping will start around April 22nd, but we are having some quarantines here right now, so it could be a little bit delayed. They are single staged. And now let's talk about the uh, pricing and FPSs. So uh, there will be two versions, a standard version and a pro version. Uh, I'm not sure about the prices overseas, but uh, I can tell you the pro, uh, standard version will be around uh, two third of the price of the pro version. And the pro version will cost less than half of the standard version of the Worker Phoenix 2.0. So technically you just have to check what the Worker Phoenix 2.0 costs where you live and uh, the Nightingale will be a little bit less than half of what it costs. Uh, to the performance. Standard versions will be running at uh, around 25 meters per second. That is uh, roughly around 75 FPS. So the high speed or pro version will be running at uh, 38 meters per second, uh, which is around 116 FPS. Now let's take a closer look at some pictures. On um, this one, you can see uh, the battery is actually loaded from the front. There's a small lid here that uses a screw. On the back, you can see there is a off and on switch, not like, unlike the standard version of the Phoenix 2.0 that has a dial that adds as a switch and uh, speed control for the motors. This does not have that function. Here we can see a little bit better at the uh, new mini Tana Mags. Uh, you can see it is a little bit more curved at, on the sides than the original Tana Mags, and it should be a little bit uh, less wider. Uh, the capacity will be 15 rounds for this mini Talamag. Uh, darts will still use the standard worker darts. Here's something a little bit more interesting. When you buy the pro version, you get a worker belt, a string, and a quick drawer. I guess you will also get a rail on top and maybe two rails on the side. Uh, we can see these later in the uh, firing test, but uh, I'm not sure about these yet. In this last picture before we show the firing test, we can see that the color of this blaster is quite different from what we get on the Phoenix 2.0. From the commercial pictures, we can see the color looks quite, that the blue color looks quite the same, but uh, the actual blue is totally different from what we see now, but maybe this is only a test version, maybe the final product will be different, we do not know. But anyway, for me, I think I'll go for the uh, orange color this time, because I already have a Tiffany Blue Phoenix 2.0. Uh, the first video will be the pro version, and the second will be the standard version.